unboxing. It's been a long time since we've done one of these. I don't know, you can't really see it, but we got a lot of boxes, we got a lot of letters, we got a lot of packages everywhere. We're not wasting any time, hurry, but hurry up. Let's get one. Come on, let's get it rolling. All right, this one, and you, we're both going to be open them. I'll be open them, he's going to be open them. I'll be honest, guys. Some of these are like from 20... 18. The 21st century? All right, 20... 2018. Some of these are some of these are old, guys. We have <laughs> we've been being lazy. We've not been good at keeping up with mail time. So some of these may be old. The 21st century. All right, 20 2018. Some of these are some of these are old, guys. We have <laughs> we've been being lazy. We've not been good at keeping up with mail time. So some of these may be old. The 21st century. All right, 20 2018. Some of these are some of these are old, guys. We have. <laughs> We've, been being lazy. We've not been good at keeping up. Are we good now? This terrible start to a live stream. All right, well, we're going to be, me and Abrams both going to be opening, um, uh, me and, uh, packages. With? With some new knives that we're actually going to be telling you about in a little bit. But this one's coming from, it doesn't actually say on it. So I'm just going to go and open it. We'll see what it is and we'll go from there. So, all right, here we go. Who's yours from, Abram? Don't forget to read who it's from. This is from Nathan. You say the last names or? Yeah. Nathan Gassaway. What state's he from? He's from Kentucky. No. Oh, okay. Well, he's pretty close. He's close pretty enough. Close. In here, I actually have a. I got a letter here, so I can actually see what's from right here. I'm gonna let y'all be the judge of that one. Can you read that, Abram? Uh. No. <laughs> we don't know, but we definitely appreciate the spinnerbait. And let me check it out exactly what which one this actually is. Oh, it's more than just spinnerbait. It's a really nice spinnerbait right there. And he sent me some tiny tubes. And these things are going to be absolutely amazing for bass. I mean, catfish. I mean, trout and bluegill. I said everything except what I meant to say. And then we got some sinkers right there. That's going to be pretty sick. I'm going to lay that right here. Y'all can't see it, but I'm laying it right here on the table close. And, um, uh... Yeah, so far so good. I mean, let's see. All yeah. right, th this one's actually from Dalton Gasaway. Uh, uh, he's nine. And you want me to just read the letter? Or uh, just say what? what? You can, if it's something stuff. special, you can say it. Well, his name we, is Dalton. Yeah. He's nine years old, and uh, he's a huge fan. And he's uh, subbed to all your channels. And he sent you a trap with fur in it. Trap of fur? Trap with the fur? That kind of trap? I like that. This is actually a single long spring, really old style of trap. And uh, yeah, let me smack it on my fingers real quick. So you set it just like this. This might get taken down. My first, first live stream in like a year, probably gonna get taken down for self harm or something, but ow, I'm already stuck in it, boys. I'm already stuck. Oh, there we go. All right, so these are like really good for like, this size is good for like raccoons and stuff. You know, I've never actually, I don't think I've ever really caught one. Should I stick my hand in it this early? Sure. Ah! Why do I do that? That's not smart. No, not really. We're actually gonna hang that up right here for now. Oh gee, maybe not. We're gonna attempt to hang it up right here for now. Oh yeah, we got it. Yeah, that baby is gonna be sitting right there beside that squirrel. Um, Let's see, our phone. Abram, keep opening that. Who's that one from? Um, Hello. I'm going to do something. Just stay with me here. It might pause, but i got to go how that worked. I don't know if it disappeared for a minute. Go ahead. Go, 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 go. All right, this one's from Landon Oler. He's from Maryland. Ooh, Maryland's cool. That's uh, somewhere up there, I think. He's <laughs> in juice box. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Love it, man. Sick. Uh, he said... Please read this. All right, well. Oh, he sent you that too. Ooh, and a red KG. I think they got, and by the way, Painting. a penny. Painting. Painting, yeah. <laughs> Makes more sense. Everything you see is gonna be backwards because we're using the, the upside down camera, okay? So everything's gonna be looking backwards. Now, what I will say straight up is that, uh, ooh, and some sunglasses, nice shades. You wanna put those on? I'm good. All right, I, I, got, I got them for a minute. I got them for a minute. I look good. How about this? Do I look like I'm got to play professional baseball? Yeah. Sweet. And then we got all kinds of worms and stuff right here. A bunch of fish catching machines. What these are? Fish catching pieces of plastic and a can of sardines and Halloween hot sauce. 
We're keeping it. And another juice box. All right. We'll take it. And is that a bobber? That is indeed a bobber. I'm keeping that for sure. I'll be using that in the next two days. Nearly guaranteed. I'm going to take these off. Someone sent me Prime. Prime. They sent me Prime. I'll take it. So, uh, also what we're going to be saying is we actually released a new item today, literally like 20 minutes ago, and it is the items that I've been working for, working with for a little while. We open in the box, so let me just come on up. I'm getting close. I'm just saying prepare yourself because I'm coming in close. I can back up a little bit. <clears throat> I'll attempt not to break down the table, but check it out. You've seen KG Pocket Knives before, but have you seen the KG Gut Hook? pocket knife okay i knew that i like carrying the pocket knife i skinned a ton of deer with it and stuff ton of animals but wouldn't it be better for gutting situations if i had a gut hook so we just went ahead made a kg pocket knife just like it is just how we all love it but with uh, a gut hook right there instead so there's that now we'll be telling you a little bit more about that as we go on but these just actually released today they're in the description, Kendall Gray, when it comes to that shop if you want them. But as for now, we're going to keep on opening. What do we got? Too much stuff, man. Got a lot going on. I don't know what to do. Mm. Okay. I have an idea. We might need to switch spots. Because I'm doing all the organizing out here. Okay. But, oh, no. did you break it? Abram broke it. Wait, no, it's I don't want to cover up, I don't want to show his address to everybody, but he put a picture of me on the box. That's dedication. Okay. And this is coming from Jax Hopkins from Oklahoma. That back in a, uh, in the, in the desert or something. Maybe the Ozarks. Out in Oklahoma, Texas. No, that's not the Ozarks. Mm. That's in Arkansas. All right, look at here. Oh, we got a rock, a seashell rock. Look at that. Some would call that a fossil. Okay. And then, oh, my back hurt. Oh, here we go. Someone gave me an iPhone, and it says, shoot this. Shoot the phone. 10-4 will do. No problem. Yeah, all right, let's switch spots. Okay. We're going to switch spots so that I can actually open some of the mail. This spot's kind of more of an organizing space. We're first time back. First time back, you know, you got it, you get it. Oh gosh, oh. All right, well, we switched sides on. All right, so what's gonna be happening? Uh, Abram, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be opening it and I'll be sliding you stuff and then you can kind of organize it one way or another the best that you possibly can. All right, what's... Anyways, we're just gonna have to, have to go at it. I'm overheating already, dude. I need a stinking fan down here, but. We got a truck. Was this an F-150? It's a Chevy. No, it is an F-150. It's probably why there ain't no wheels on it. Well, we'll leave that in over there. And then here's that box. Got a couple bobbers in there and a sinker. All right, we'll take it. Heck yeah. This one was from Michael Brewer. I think you done opened that one. Got me a cricket in there. Those crickets are some of the best lures you can get. Got a little crankbait, one-sided with a KG on it. Pretty slick. And here's a, a arc. We're going to slow down. I'm sweating. Me too. First day back, man. First day on the live stream scene, and I'm I'm severely overheating. You want to take a break and talk about these? I guess. Go ahead and pull them up here. All right, so. Let's do these first. Like we mentioned, we are, these just came out and everything, which is all cool and fine and dandy and stuff. And uh, But we want to take these live streams and talk to you a little bit, I guess. Hi. Hey. But anyways, what we're saying is that these gut hook pocket knives, we just dropped them. They, we, they come in two colors, and they're two colors that are not on the normal knives. It's this scorpion camo is what it's called. You can kind of see it there. And then you also have this Vietnam tiger camo right there. And we've been, we've been, I've been using this one right here for a long time, prototype, and make sure it was good and everything. But what we wanted to do is for the next three days, a few people, or four people, that buys this knife in the next four days, we're just gonna throw in some random stuff, and what we got is three signed piece 50 cal shells, okay? I mean, we would send you the real thing, but I don't know if that's even legal. 
So we're just gonna send you the shell, slip it in the package, hope that uh, it don't get confiscated or anything. And uh, yeah, we're, that's pretty much what we're gonna do. Now we also have one other thing that we're gonna be slipping into one of those items, and it's actually that right over there. It is the KG Survival Knife. This one's signed, but this one is actually a pretty special one. This is the one that I took down to Florida and actually hunted hogs with down there. So this one's probably still got blood on it. You can do a DNA test on it if you want to. It'll probably come back to pork or something. But we're just gonna slip this into somebody, somebody's package that orders a KG pocket knife gut hook in the next three days. You know, you don't have to buy a gut hook now if you don't want to, but if you do right now, since they just released, there's a chance you could get something like this or those shells. So there's that, here's that, here's this, here's that, and here's your knife, here's my knife. We're gonna keep opening packages. Now this package right here is kind of different. I'm gonna be honest, I don't, I can't remember the name exactly of who sent it, but they sent it through Ethan, like somehow personally. But they got me and Ethan both a pair of shoes, which are not in here because I've been wearing them, so. I think that's kind of cool. And then also some coffee. I don't drink coffee, but if I ever do, I'll probably drink this. You gonna take it some me? And then they also got me these signs. I don't know what these signs are. We're gonna open them up and figure out. Oh, some kind of metal signs. You be opening those up and we're gonna see what they are. The first one's the Bill of Rights, which is always good because everybody's got rights and they love bills. Um, Here's these. I'll be honest, I, I think we opened these before, but they're here. We're gonna open them again. These are Tucker's fire starters. One of y'all, one of the fan, one of y'all, you actually started up a fire at Tucker. He started up a fire starting business on fa Facebook. And this is what he sells, a bag full of those, kind of like fire starters with like candle wax in them so it smells good. Maybe that helps it burn better. This is actually really good because I don't know how, I ain't good at fires and I actually, I actually really need these. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hand you one, Abram. This one's something light, nothing heavy. That doesn't mean anything about the box. And then I got this one, kind of heavy, so. Oh, jeez, what it, all right then, that's cool. Oh, this dude done some art on here. Art with a printer. Looks good though. It's an AK-9, AK-47, M9, a fish. Pretty sweet. And then, oh, and then he got me a cup. A custom cup. Oh my goodness. This is pretty sick. I gotta get closer to show y'all this. Check it out. We're starting right here and going around. First of all, Amer this is a cup. American flag. Then we got a stinking bullet. Then we have a deer with literally its shoulder almost shot off and bleeding out. All right. Now that's a, that's a special level of detail I've never seen on a cut before. Then we got some, a double revolver, KG, an AK-47 just strapped on top of the blue navy camo. And then there's Jesus beside of a rooster and a squirrel. That's pretty awesome. And then a Glock, a steel trap, money, gold and silver, and a YouTube play button, and a penny. It's pretty sick. There's so much going on in this cup that... You gotta use that. I'm definitely using it. Oh. This one's from Chance Shemek from Wisconsin. He said you were doing it. Me put, singing, putting the hammer down on Bucky, looks like. I don't know if I ever made it that far, but we tried. And then here's something. Don't microwave. Oh, that goes on the bottom coffee cup or something. I like that. I like that. That's a really interesting cup. There's a lot going on out there. There's a straw. Oh, it comes with a straw. Even better. Here you go. This one's coming from... Oh, did I read who that one was from? I don't know, but you know exactly who you are. I'll just say that. It's fine. Wyatt Snyder. Wyatt Snyder. I don't think I actually read that. Well, boys, I think I, I got a whole stinking backpack in here. Oh. Look inside the, and then the other words rubbed off, so. 10-4. Oh, jeez. All right, he sent me a Cabela's fishing bag, and we're, he said to look inside to see what's in it, so we're opening this up. I feel like there's been a lot. Oh, okay, that's nice. Here, just stick your hand in and pull it out. You want to do that? Do I? Here, yeah, stick your hand in and pull it out. 
I know. Don't I saw look what, at it. I saw what it was. Well, pretend like you didn't. <laughs> Stick your hand and pull it out. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. It's just a skin. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, it's just a skin. He didn't stick a whole skunk in there. <laughs> <laughs> we have a striped skunk skin, baby. Is that not wild? He sent, a, he sent a striped skunk in a tackle box. I wonder if there's anything else in here. Like I was thinking live skunk or something. Oh, there is. There's a knife. Honestly, I don't know if he meant to send this knife or if he just forgot it in his tackle box. Either way, we're taking it. We'll take it. We'll put it to use somehow. That's pretty sweet. I'm going to set this straight there. And then this skunk. Hey, we're putting him up here with Mr. Possum. Y'all can't hardly see him, but he's going right up here by the possum. It might be the same guy. I, I can't really remember right off, but some of y'all are like some serious fur handlers. I'll just say that. If you have the ability to do this yourself, you're doing something. I know that. Branson Klein from West Virginia sent you a ton of stuff. He sent you a drawing. Of a deer? Of a deer. A feather. A feather? A bracelet. A bracelet? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is? No, it's actually a fly, which is actually really good for fishing, but if I held this up to the camera, you still wouldn't see it. A bunch of bones. <laughs> nice. This is a snapping turtle. Ah, snapping turtle head, and it looks like a possum. I'll take it. That's cool. What is this, a stinking blow dart? That's actually, I actually do think it is. That the one that they shooting at Indiana Jones? It's pretty cool. And one dollar and one cent. Oh, I'll take it, I'll take it. Not something light, nothing heavy. He paid me to send me something. I think he shot the box. Too. I think he did too. That makes it better. Or he bit the box. He's got some weird teeth. Another box? Here you go. Let's open up some of these. You open up that one, I'll open up this one. This one's coming from Luca? Liqueurs. He's from Canada, so that's probably why his name's weird. Gabe. Gabe knows how that is. Yeah. Let's see. Look at this. Big feather. Big turkey feather is what that is. I can't really tell what we got here, but it's something that's blue. I do know that. Okay. All right. Oh, snap. Look at that. He 3D printed a KG logo out of hot glue, which technically may not be 3D printed, but it's still cool, still close. Oh, this is heavy, whatever it is. It's a piece of steel? Oh no, it's definitely not a piece of steel. It's an iPhone that's been mutilated. Look at that. Oh wow. Yeah, that's good condition. On sale, for sale, not on sale. I know what I got. No low balls. We'll sell that. <laughs> yes. This is from Hayden Sparks. Couple. He sent you that feather and this. Sheesh. Got a nice crawdad and a worm in there. I could probably catch fish on that. He probably will you, eventually. He sent you this letter and this drawing. All right. And then he wanted you to open it on the video. Well, guess what? We indeed opened it on video. Let's see. Boop. And then we got a tube. Always good to get a tube. And then there's that. Let's open up a couple more of these. This one is coming from Jace Peterman, which is always fire. Abram, are you sweating? Um, I'm actually sweating. I don't know if it's hot in here or if it is pretty hot. I'm just working hard and not hardly working. Would you believe it if I told you we have another animal in here? It seems to be a common theme. I don't know why I'm surprised. This one is an Idaho cottontail. Check that out. You can kind of see it's fur. An Idaho cottontail. We're going to set that right back here. This one's from Landon Day from South Dakota. All right. He's pretty he drew talented, Bucky. He drew Bucky. Artist. What is that now? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. He, he put a list of it there. You read it off. Oh. Seven jig bodies, one sunfish crankbait, two 223 empty rounds, one 12 gauge round, two seashells, and a German coin. All right then, we'll take it. All right, Abram, I'm giving us a big box. We're both over it. Okay. You don't get to open the big box. Wait, wait. 
This one's from Cohen. Aki Man. Can you verify? Aki Man. Oh, yeah, that one. Easy, easy. Easy, you cut me in two. KG Go Hook Knives cut many people. Mainly just me, but still. Oh, all right. It's about time. I knew this was coming because he emailed me. And I was like, absolutely, but I didn't get to open it till just now, which is fine because I've not really been frog gigging too much since, but check it out. So Cohen actually seen the struggles I was having with my frog gigging, uh, basically what happens to the frogs after you gig them. So he asked me, do you want me to build you a frog basket? Because he's from Louisiana, right? They have a lot of frogs. Well, I was like, yes, definitely send me a frog basket. So he sent me a frog basket, and this thing's like pretty much. That's beautiful. Yeah, it's 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 homemade. I think yeah, pretty much. Frog proof. I I can't tell right off if that that what the rubber pieces do, but you stick the frog in here, you drop him in, and this thing comes back and latches. So straight up, you have a frog basket. Oh, this is a handle. This is a handle. Might be a handle, maybe. Either way, we got a frog basket now. And that's very important for us to have because we were losing frogs because, I don't know, we can't hold on to them. And they keep jumping out of our pocket. Abram knows a lot about that because we went... What? You're saying I lose frogs? Yeah. Okay, that's true. I am. That's Actually. True. This one is coming from Eric Slingshot or Slingstone. I don't know. Knife safety, don't cut towards yourself. You'll end up dying or something. He said, dude, I gave this to my girl. I don't know. Let me see. You can read that. He can read. I can't I can't read that good, but it's a book. Oh. I think you can read this. <laughs> yeah, maybe I can read this, actually. It's a book, and nothing in it. <laughs> That's one of the only one books I can actually read, believe it or not. I can read books. Oh, jeez. Here you go, Abram. This one's for you. I'm ready whenever you put that down, or if you... Wait, do you want to... Me to... Here's a box, a LaCroix box, from Jack Brown. Did he give Oklahoma. us instructions on what to do with it? Uh... Don't look like it. It's like you're on your own. I think there's something in here. What is that? This one's from Case Brown. What was that one from? This one's from Jack Brown. This is from Case Brown. Ah, right, sweet. So probably they most likely be, two brothers. Yeah. Check it out though. Send me a little cricket lure. That's epic because I use those a ton. And then there's some deers. I assume that's him and his brother right there. Smack down on a big doe, which is epic. He sent me a survival kit, and that there is a pack of lizards. It's always good to have. And then there's that. See if there's anything in this safety kit. And, oh snap, I actually need this. He sent me like a small first aid kit, and it's got a bunch of basic first aid stuff. Honestly, that's actually really important, because you never know when you're going to need a little bit of first aid. For me, kind of And then another phone. What's this? What iPhone's that? Let's see if it turns on. What well, if it turns on? We just get all of his information. And then three bullets. I'm gonna make a guess, 270? Nope, 30-06. That was, that was a little off there, but it's whatever. So far, three phones. This live stream, that's pretty good. Here you go, Abram, whenever you're ready. I don't know if I could've been ready for that one. Yeah, probably not. That's a big, whatever it is, it's a big one, so. This one's coming from Maverick Moss. You're gonna like these. Who's that one from? That one's from, uh, from Quality Targets. <laughs> from Illinois. I'm just kidding guys, I actually bought these, but the, I bought these a long time ago and I never, I never really opened them. So they got, got mixed up with the fan mail. They got mixed up with fan mail. Basically it's a bunch of like, animal targets that you can shoot with 22s. I would say something light, nothing heavy, but that's very heavy. 
So, here's that one's from Maverick Moss. I'm gonna let him open that. While everyone's opening that, for anybody that's new to the live stream, we just dropped a new knife today, and it's actually the KG Pocket Knife Gut Hook. I know that hunting season's coming up. Deer season in Kentucky is like less than a month away, like 15 days away. So, you know, the gut hook really helps a lot on bigger animals, not so much small game, but wanted to give you guys, build this out and give you guys a pocket knife that actually has a gut hook. And there's two different colors. There's this one, which is scorpion camo. This one, which is Vietnam tiger. And it is the first link description. So if you want one, that's how you do that. This one's from... Oh, you already said Maverick Moss. Yeah, we said that. We said he's, Maverick Moss three times. <laughs> he says happy birthday. Happy birthday. And congratulations on two million subscribers. Two many? Two million. Two many subscribers. <laughs> but he sent me some Guggen baits. I've used some Guggen baits before. I've never really had many of them. They were supposed to send me a bunch, and they never actually did. So that's cool. Cool. That's a good box. Let's see, what else we got? Oh, here's one. Oh, this is another heavy one. Another heavy one. <laughs> it's already open too, so that means somebody got a little bit confused on it. Uh, yeah, because it's a really uh, fancy, it's a really fancy label, that's why. Who's got a drawing? Who's it from? JD. JD? <laughs> I think JD, we're opening up your package. Let's see what you got. He's from Michigan. Bubble wrap? Oh, this dude. This dude, this dude knows what's happening. This guy knows what support is. He's seen that we're having some, did he say, what, Louisiana? Michigan. Well, he sent me some slap your mama Cajun seasoning. So maybe we'll try that out. He sent some, whatever that is, some hot sauce. You gotta show them, Avery. More cream. Have you done seasoning? forgot how to do it? I guess that's a different one. You done forgot how to do mail time. Yeah. You gotta show them. I got a lot of seasoning here. Season. And then some more. Oh, gosh. Maybe he is from Louisiana. Some seasoning, dude. Like, or not seasoning, but whatever you put fish in. I don't even know what it's called. That's how bad I am at cooking. I'm just going to say these, or say this. These two, you're going to be seeing those very soon in the video because I need that kind of stuff to start cooking with. And then he sent something... Oh, he sent two, like, Whopper Ploppers. What? No way. Dude, heck yeah, that's literally my favorite bait is a Whopper Plopper. So I'm going to be putting those to use right now. What is this? This is a catch -a -matic automatic fishing reel? Wait, what? No way. Are these, like, spring-loaded fishing things? It says, tie, step one, tie string on cane pole or tree. No. Step two, loop on corner. And step three, put hook on swivel. Oh my gosh. He sent me automatic fishing poles. Dude, we are definitely using this. We are definitely using this. Here, like, ASAP. Put that right over there on that couch. Beside the uh, chicken chicken walker. Oh yeah. The catch Now the that chicken. is interesting right there. Let's see. How are y'all doing in the live stream? I know we've not done a ton of them. And uh, Abram, you open it. You open this one up. And you open this one up. And I'm going to look at the live stream and read a little bit what's happening. I've not done this in a while. So, someone said he's a bot. Who's the bot? I think it's Abram, if anybody. Huh? Stop spamming. Dude, I'm just opening mail. Give me a break. Mm, please do more live streams. I'll be honest, guys. I, you know... I will say this, live streams are harder than they look. Most of it, of the hard part, is actually preparation. Like getting all this ready and making sure all this is ready to go. But then also, planning it. Because with videos, you can kind of do it whenever you can. You can kind of mark out days and stuff. But with live streams, we got to be here to do the live streams. And so, trying to pick out a good consistent time every week can be a little hard. But, you know... We're really going to try to do it. Perfect scheduling. I'll just tell y'all a little bit of my ideas. You're here on the live stream, so I'll tell y'all a little behind the scenes stuff, whatever. But what I'd like to do, we're probably a little ways away from this, just from all the things happening. But, oh, we got, now something's dead again. That's good. This one's from Miles Showalter from Virginia. Yeah. He said he wants you to shoot this walkie-talkie, but it's kind of sticky. 
It's got. He he sent some lifesavers too, but they melted. <laughs> they must have melted in the mail or something. Yeah. So, yeah. And then we got some little worms right there. But just back to what I was saying, I think it'd be awesome if I could do a live stream every other week, whether it be mail time or us out there fishing. I really want to take y'all on a fishing live stream, but but every other week on this channel, then every other week on the gaming channel. I know a lot of you guys really like the gaming channel, and I'm not posted there in a month, which is, you know, kind of hard, but it happens. Who sent this one you? Addison Doster. All right. Here's him holding up a squirrel, and then I assume this is the squirrel. Or I may be wrong because this might be the squirrel, or this could be the squirrel, and then there's also a good chance this could be the squirrel. <clears throat> but there's also a good chance that's the squirrel. Now, that's actually the body. That's that's super cool. These squirrels are awesome. always super cool. And uh, if you ever try and train a squirrel dog, a little squirrel tail can be one of your best friends. Keep that in mind. And you all wanting to come out here and train a squirrel dog, squirrel tail's right there. Hey, that's what you need, man. Squirrel tail. Keep keep them sometimes. Did someone give me a recipe? Uh, no. He sent you a bunch of stuff from 2021. Oh, season uh, dates and stuff? Yeah. All right. That's good. Unfortunately, we can't use it anymore because we waited too long, but... Yeah. But that was from Forrest Chronister. Forrest also sent me these right here, which is the bunch of crawdad baits. Those are sick. I was, those are really good. Sick is in the good way, not a bad way. Here's what I'm thinking, Abram. How can we make mail time better? All right. I know that on live streams... Same guy? Same guy. Nice. But that's the one that has the... The same guy... What did he send just now? He, no, he sent the crawdad baits and season dates. Well, we just so happened to pick up a Forrest's letter right here. Literally. Another one? No chance. No, that was the old one. Oh, okay, okay. Well, this one... That's crazy. We got two in a row from the same guy. Two in a row from the same person. And this one... No way. We thought that was a squirrel tail, but it's actually a turkey feather. I think that's a big deal. That's crazy. What was I talking about? I don't know. I don't either. Let's see what this is. Actually, I'm gonna go for a box real quick. Now we got a lot of boxes over here. So, uh, we may not get through all of them today. And, um, this one's coming from Rayanne and Bubba. Rayanne and Bubba sent a good bit of stuff before. They sent me, like, a little hand chainsaw. Then they sent me the helmet and all the safety gear so that I don't actually kill myself with it. And then they sent another thing. I actually opened it just because I was really curious. And, unfortunately, it says Merry Christmas on it. So, we... <laughs> We are a little late, like we were saying, but they gave me a holster for that chainsaw. And I've actually been putting that chainsaw to use a lot recently where it's been greening out. But thanks, Bubba, for the chainsaw uh, holster because this is going to be really big time whenever I actually start using that thing a lot or whenever I do use that thing a lot. Because I can have it right there on the hip and I can actually go through and cut stuff as I need. Thanks a ton for that. And Merry Christmas to you too, brother. Jason West. Uh, from New York, sent you a hog target that he drew himself. You think that's a boy or a girl hog? He also sent you a sling. Oh, okay. What we'll do with this? I don't know if he wants me to use it as fishing bait, but we're going to use that Slim Jim as fishing bait. That's going to be pretty epic right here. All right, this is no more boxes. No, I'm going to go get one box. You open that, I'm going to go get one box. Okay. And uh, I'm going to get two boxes. All right. Well, <laughs> looks like somebody sent a shirt back. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know if that's fan mail. All right. Somebody sent a picture. Art inside. This is from... 
Izzy Rivera from Texas. Whoa, that's pretty good. What happened? What happened down here? This picture. Oh, that is good. Yeah. Oh, I dropped it. That's All right, guys, good. I have arrived with the two boxes. <clears throat> oh, gosh. Howdy, how are how we doing over here? What's been happening while I've been gone? How long was I gone? Somebody, uh, 15 you seconds? Somebody return some merch. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. All right, we'll, we'll get right on that. This, this package is coming from Connor, Missy, and JJ. But this is actually some fishing baits. I'm pretty sure because I don't open it, but I wanted to save it for fan mail. Let's see. There's that. Here's this. Now let's open up the stuff. Now this, they actually make their own lures. I think they kind of have like a a company, I reckon. But let me. Here you go, Avery. You hold them. I'm kind of gonna be pulling them out. A bunch of fishing baits. J Man custom baits. Then we got some like a. Uh, Senkos in some kind of watermelon color or like clear color. Definitely not watermelon. These are watermelon though. Watermelon trick worms. These are going to be awesome. We got some that looks like motor oil. Some kind of crawl baits. Basically, long story short, we got a lot of baits in here. And I'm going to be honest, these are probably going to be the baits that I use just for whenever I do go fishing because they sent me all kinds of them. And th this amount of baits will literally do me a long time. And this is gonna be perfect. This is sweet. This is really sweet. This is from Jake Summers from Missouri. Uh-huh. He sent you these baits. Sweet, a pack of tubes. Pack of tubes. And 50 cents. And 50 cents. You know what that'll buy us? Another tube. Wow. It's pretty big time, yeah. honestly. Oh, here you go, Abram. If you can set this over there right now. Now, uh, if you're coming on a little late, if, you're, if you've been here the whole time, you've heard me say this three times, but we just got new pocket knives in. They're actually the gut hook. Let's remind them real quick. For the next three days, it, for three random people that buys the pocket knife, we're gonna be giving away, we're just gonna be sticking these in the packages. They're 50 cow shells and when they signed them, we was, I would like to do like more normal giveaways for people who don't have to buy merch, but on YouTube right now, it's really hard to like actually get up with you guys, so. Sorry. Difficult. But that's why we're having to do it where you kind of have to buy something to do it because there's not really a good way for us to get up with you. So, sorry about that. Maybe we can come up with something in the future, but right now YouTube's not really making it easy because we can't direct message. But three random people that orders are going to be getting those 50 cow shells or one each. Then one lucky person's actually going to be getting this knife, which is the KG Survival Knife, signed. But this is actually the exact one that I went to Florida hunting hogs with, this thing's got some kills on it. Oh, my, my controller, my trailer, my controller disconnected. Oh, okay. It was... Yeah, this one got some kills on it, though. Without the... With that, without me hunting with it, value, I'd say $80, because that's how much we sell them for normally. And you can buy these, but they're really heavy duty and they're kind of expensive. But now that I killed hogs with it, I'm going to increase the value to $40,000. I think Abram's controller disconnected too. Oh, this is from Jordan Strohmeyer. <laughs> He's from West Virginia. That's awesome. He, I like West Virginia. He sent you a letter. And where did the taser go? Drawing. That's a very West Virginia drawing. I'll take it. Where did the taser go? Okay. Taser? Yeah, where did the taser go? You're the last one who had it. I'm not telling you. I was worried after what happened last time. Here's the taser. <laughs> so, 
We're gonna play a game. Last one to open a package gets tased in the throat. <laughs> I'm just gonna save this package then. Go ahead. <laughs> First one to open a package doesn't get tased. <laughs> You're not open, open it. Hurry up. Go. It's open. It's open. It's open. Stop. Stop it. And it has a built in flashlight. I will, I wanted to put I wanted to put one of these in like one of the winners and like give away a taser. Then everyone was like, no, you can't give away a taser. That's too dangerous. How about we give a stinking eight inch blade instead that's sharper than a razor? <laughs> I don't know what this is. This is from Jim Baker. I'm gonna put this up before I hurt myself. He's from Kentucky. Kentucky? Yep. Oh, I know some guys from Kentucky. Now we're going to open up this big box, and I'll tell you what, guys. We're going to open up this big box. That's what I'm going to tell you. All right. Also, before I open this up, if you want to send something in fan mail, you definitely don't have to, but we open all the packages. We open most of the big boxes and the packages and stuff on mail time. As for the letters and stuff, we don't know if you want us to really read them on mail time, so a lot of those we just read off camera. But if you do want to send something... The P.O. box is going to be down in the description, and it's in the description of all the videos. So if you want to send us something, that'd be awesome. And, um, yeah, I guess we're going to open up this box. You can go ahead and open up that one. I'm opening up this one. This, this one. one. Here you go. I can't remember who this one's from because I, I ripped the thing. Oh, no, it's on the back end. That's a lot of stuff. This one's from, I can't really remember who it's from. No, I can't. Oh, here, here we go. It's from Otis Technology, which is actually like a gun cleaning kit thing. But one of the people who works there is their kid. So I'm, I don't think we got your name. But thank you for that because I have a lot of guns. And guess what? I clean them every once in a while. But we got some ear shields. So this is like um, earmuffs so you don't blow your, blow your ears out. Then this is a gun cleaning mat, which is always awesome. Then we got a gun cleaning kit right there. A, a gun cleaning sock. What is this even? A smart gun care. Straight up just another mat thing, which is always good. Another gun cleaning kit. Here we got some hats. We got some gun oil. We got wipes, I think. Wipes, I think lead cleaning wipes what does that do not cleans lead and materials from skin okay so all right and then we got a bunch of these gun ropes the snake things where you stick to the barrel and pull them through to clean them i like that a lot and we got one for 12 gauge one for 0.17 because they knew i use a 17 a lot a 30 cal and this, this one's a 223 or 22 sweet yeah We'll load it up right here. And then they gave me this big kit, which can literally clean anything and everything. So this is actually perfect for pretty much all the gun cleaning needs I'm gonna have. This is good. I'm gonna be moving this straight back to where we put all the gun stuff, and we're gonna be using this clean guns from here on out. Okay. So that there is sweet. Isaac Hinkle. Isaac Hinkle from West Virginia. Mm-hmm. He sent you this stuff. Wow. And then he sent this drawing as well. I don't even, what is, ah, y'all know what that is? It's not a Nintendo DS. It's a phone. Wild guess, he probably wants me to shoot it. I don't think he said. He probably did. Oh, yeah, he did. He wants me to shoot it? Yeah. All right, sweet. And then on that, we're going to go ahead and end the live stream. Just one quick reminder, hate to be too weird about it, but... We just dropped these new KG pocket knives with the gut hook. And if you want them, they're going to be the first link in the description. And that is about and it. You can get this knife. Yeah, you can get that knife if you're lucky and you get it. Okay.